Welcome to the Sankofa Show. I'm your host, Lolo. Sankofa means taking the learnings of the past to help you propel the way for the future. In our quest in finding solutions to contemporary issues, this is the show in which we're going to take a critical look at all the systems that governs us. That speaks to your legal systems, education system, financial systems, health, cultural systems, spiritual systems, religious systems. Are these systems actually serving us? Or are we merely complying by virtue of having accepted it like that? For such hard talk, help me welcome my next guest. Pasta. Mm -hmm. Thank you for grazing the occasion right. at such short notice. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you. You are a businessman. Mm -hmm. You are a busy man. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you took the time right. to sit with me mm -hmm. on this topic, mm -hmm. which you are also passionate about. Yes. I, I, I see you are a cultural mm -hmm. enthusiast. Mm -hmm. I'm a student of life mm -hmm. and I study various cultures mm -hmm. and I read a lot of books from mm -hmm. diverse cultures because yeah. I, I, I'm a student of life mm -hmm. and I study how life uh, flows. Exactly. You see, so and um, I'm also dressed with my cultural shirt mm -hmm. today, proudly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I see that you're also having a, a Tamara Rad emblem mm -hmm. thingy yes. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, please tell me, uh, having seen your facility here, mm -hmm. I'm quite impressed okay. at what you're doing here. This is in an urban setting, you mm -hmm. are creating a rural atmosphere exactly. for yourself because of the way you connect with nature and all exactly. this. Tell me, how did what 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 came to mm. you? What made you to register this Nayahab cultural mm. village, and what challenges did you have okay. uh, during the process? Yes, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Like um, I was a police officer. Okay. You know, like all of us, we hail from the rural areas. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, life is forcing us to stay in the urban areas mm -hmm. because of school situations and also job uh, situations. Yes. But still, you know, there's a heartbeat of this rural, mm. you know. So I was a police officer mm -hmm. for some quite time, but later on I decided, I feel like when I'm losing touch of, with my culture, mm. because everything that we see around us mm. is just Western, it doesn't talk to us. Yes. And then, you know, over the time, these things grow and grow until I later say, no, mm. I must just leave my job mm. so that I can reconnect myself mm. with my culture. I see. Yes. And I, I used to thought, at first in the beginning, I thought that, okay, it's me. Mm. But later on, I realized that it's not only me, not only Tamaras. But it's Eros, it's Oshuambos, mm -hmm. it's all the other black tribes. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that reflects mm -hmm. our cultural roots. I see. So that's where, you know, uh, uh, multiculturalism started. Mm -hmm. So then I decided that no, instead of just considering on Damaras, mm -hmm. let me set up something that mm -hmm. are inclusive to everybody. Mm -hmm. Because all of us are in the same dilemma. I see. So that's where that concept started. I see. You know, but now the biggest challenge was, you know, during those days now, mm. you know, they were not so, and I'm talking about now those days, I'm referring to uh, uh, late 90s, 1990s, mm -hmm. uh, 2000, beginning of 2000, they around. Mm -hmm. Now there was no internet and those things, you know, that you can just Google and get. Now oh, I got this idea. Is there some other idea somewhere? Mm. You know, mm. there was nothing like that. Mm. So now this was a very new concept to me. Okay. I had it in my mind, but how do I narrate to the next person next to mm. to be believed? Yes, yes. And then you know I've got this thing of yeah, this culture, this is this implement, this is this implement. Mm. But all together now, how do you name it? Mm -hmm. Because cultural tourism mm -hmm. was non-existence. Uh, yeah. You know, yes. so it was a big challenge now, mm -hmm. and also even me myself now. I'm so much. I'm not so much clear about this concept. Mm -hmm. It's a heartbeat, mm -hmm. but here in my mind, mm -hmm. and to make make it the reality, mm -hmm. it was quite a challenge. I see. And as we know that you know, in urban areas, mm -hmm. you now there are laws and bylaws of the municipality, Absolutely. and they didn't cater Absolutely. for cultural tourism. Uh -huh. Everything is based on the western. I believe. Now it. I need this. A uh, place now uh -huh. where I'm going to set up uh -huh. uh, this dream of mine. Yes. But now the city fathers now mm. they don't even understand. Uh -huh. this They're concept. looking for modern, modern yes. stuff and yes. modern type of yes. businesses and stuff. Uh -huh. And there were some complaints of years. I was I was told uh -huh. actually I was told that now, mom, 
this thing that you are doing sounds good, but mm. I'm telling you, council will never allow something mm. happening in the urban areas mm -hmm. because of the bylaws. And mm. I got stuck. I went from one office to another office, but mm. everybody says, mm -hmm. mm. later I decided, mm. no, maybe this was, I don't know. Mm. But then I decided, no, better I built. Mm. And while the thing is there, then I go and talk. All right. <laughs> All right. You, yes. you, you, you start. Yes. And I start then you engage them. Further. Engage them. Mm. And coming to Hayab. Mm -hmm. Hayab is a, was a, a, a legendary uh, Damara mm, fighter. Mm. He was resisting the Germans by those days now. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about now in the early 90s. Okay. Yes. Now, you know, from the narrative history, mm. there's not, not much written about it, but actually there is some records. Okay. Now, Bits and pieces. Uh, yes. Something. Then he was resisting, you know, like he was sabotaging mm. even this railway. Mm -hmm. When the Germans laid this railway, mm -hmm. transporting weapons into the inland, mm -hmm. so he was sabotaging the railway. Uh -huh, ah, the, the movement yes. of the... Okay. And then, it, I'm also told uh, that he killed some of the soldiers. Mm -hmm. You know, what was said is, you know, he killed, uh, maybe it's that is four or five soldiers. Mm. He killed and left one to tell the story. Uh -huh. That no, we were I mean, ambushed by this guy. Uh -huh. And then he killed all of us, but leaving one so that they can tell, tell uh -huh. the story. So Mhayhab was the Shaga Zulu of so, the Damaras. So to say. Uh -huh. And actually not, you know, so liberation struggle in the early days was also not only for one tribe. Uh -huh. It yeah. was a national resistance. Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. he has uh, contributed uh, immensely. Oh, okay. About so this. you are basically honoring his contribution. Exactly. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Exactly. Oh, I get you. Yeah. I get you. I get you. Now, pastor, before I forget, uh, now you are also a pastor, mm -hmm. and you know how uh, the Christian community sort of sees cultural stuff generally. Mm -hmm. We're not so accommodative exactly. in terms of cultural heritage and and cultural norms and stuff exactly. we base mostly uh, our, our our life based on christian concepts and, exactly. and, and yes. as we have received it yes. from uh, those that gave us the religion yes. we we, yes. we now by now we should uh, we should agree at yeah, least exactly. that, that we have been given this yes. religion so but we, we try as much to conform to that mm -hmm. uh, rather than uh, yeah. going deeper in terms of our cultural roots exactly. and actually uh, in a way this religion pushes us exactly. away from our cultural norms, norms and dynamics yes, and yes. practices of and uh, rituals and mm -hmm. uh, whatever so how do you connect these mm. two now being a pastor uh, in a very tradition? very very good question mm. there was another challenge again okay now you see like i'm a born again christian okay and that's where things are more tough. I, I, and I, I, yes. I believe you. Now, the thing is now, the first challenge is now uh -huh. to bring this culture in the jurisdiction of the municipality mm -hmm. was one challenge. Mm -hmm. Now, how do I bring the culture now into the Christianity? Christian community? Mm -hmm. That is now the other culture. Yeah, even myself, I also said it was we must have talked this thing and we And uh, uh, you know, normally they say, our cultures are demonic. Yeah. So you cannot practice your culture. Yeah. And uh, it is the narrative of the whites, mm. you know, upon us, and we reject it. But now this thing is so strong that I cannot deny it. Mm. To what must I do? Mm. It was quite a big challenge. I have decided no. Let me just continue mm -hmm. with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Along the way, maybe people will understand. Mm -hmm. I've got lots of criticism mm -hmm. from the Christian community. Mm -hmm. Even so much so that even my elder sister was told that, Sister, I will pray for your brother mm -hmm. because he's getting he's, mad. He's losing it. He's <laughs> losing it. <laughs> it's going backwards. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, you know, there is a false narrative. Yes. Built around our culture mm. that we must hate our existence. Mm. We must hate our roots. Mm. We must hate our ancestries. Mm. You know, that is the narrative that has been built on. Mm. Now, but I'm quite determined uh, that this thing 
must be uh, what's the word again? Yes, yeah. we have it must we be, must it, challenge this yes. kind of narrative Absolutely. and set things in the correct perspective. Absolutely, as much as we are so called westernized, mm -hmm. you see what I mean, see, uh -huh. but we are black people, mm -hmm. we've got our origins, we've mm -hmm. got things that we believe in, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and that's those things are so much important, mm -hmm. you know throw away these things mm. that's where we are having this ide identity mm. identity, identity crisis. crisis i i see and uh, uh pastor one thing also that i think is a lack of knowledge exactly we don't know mm -hmm. our culture mm -hmm. exactly we don't understand mm -hmm. our culture mm -hmm. because we don't have a, an interest in knowing it and understanding it and mm -hmm. preserving it mm -hmm. because we don't see value Exactly. In it. exactly. That, that's the thing. And this is the, the, the kind of thing that with these talks, mm. I want to, you know, uh, get my generation mm, mm -hmm. to start opening up their eyes exactly. and, and start realizing that your culture mm. is your currency. Exactly. Your culture is your identity. Exactly. And your culture is your economy. Exactly. This has been mm. uh, made by somebody mm -hmm. and I paid for it. Mm -hmm. It put bread on somebody's table. Exactly. If you go and buy a shirt mm, mm -hmm. in Markham's, mm, Markham's perhaps, that yeah. comes from mm -hmm. somewhere, yes. you're putting bread mm -hmm. on whose table now? Mm -hmm. You see. So, so, so by exhibiting and living mm -hmm. your culture mm -hmm. with the food that you eat, mm -hmm. the I, I want to be the learner. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't want to say too much, oh, but yes. uh, but uh, <laughs> no, you're quite right. Well, <laughs> you, you know there are some economic uh, um, exclusivity, mm. you know, by those you know, the uh, those who tell the story dictates the course. Absolutely, you see. Absolutely. So uh, now we were never allowed to tell our story. Thank you. So they could most less, you know, like uh, um, discrimination mm -hmm. is not only you know. Uh, uh, you are discriminated against, but it, there is the economic discrimination also. Absolutely, you know, like in cities now, in towns, yes. we must wear clothes. Yes, we, there is a way that we, we must normalize. Dress. But, but, mm -hmm. do did you find in any of our major towns? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe now some things are popping up mm -hmm. where you find that, like similar to Markham's, mm -hmm. that is an African cultural uh -huh. uh, boutique. Uh -huh. You know, see, yes, where you can go and go find and uh, cultural products from pro all various cultures there. Uh, do you find it? One stop shop. How many are there? Mm. You know, even now the people are starting to do that, but it's just in a small corner, somewhere yes, in a remote area, absolutely. not in, you know, those, these prime areas. Absolutely. You, you see what I mean? Absolutely. And also, that, uh, the, 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 our, uh, uh, you know, cultural boutiques mm -hmm. can grow that much, mm -hmm. that we can even export, export it to. Stuff. South Africa to America, absolutely. Like the Markhams and other guys are doing. Absolutely, that's you what know? I'm saying. Mm. Your culture is your currency. Mm -hmm. It can be your lifeline. Exactly, even. exactly. So it's for you to mm -hmm. firstly mm -hmm. develop the pride. Exactly. In your culture. Exactly. Because that's who you are. Exactly. It speaks to your mm -hmm. identity. Mm -hmm. It speaks to you psychologically. Your men, men. It, 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 it. In all areas of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Your culture is the base, should be the base. Exactly. So, um, you are very right mm. when you say that you can export mm -hmm. your culture mm -hmm. and then benefit from that. Exactly. And that's when Not we go only to culture. You become rich. You know, mm -hmm. why are other closing shops, those that are running, becoming rich? Yes. You see what I mean? See? Yes, yes. So, yes, that is yes. why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can you can proceed. Yes, but now that's that's where the thing comes in. Mm -hmm. You know, we must love what we are. Absolutely. You you see, and uh, we must uh, this, begin this to support. Narrative, mm -hmm. we, the narrative should change. Must so it, change. It must begin here. Yes, even in the ch you know in our religion. Uh -huh. You know, I, I'm a pastor. Yes. I believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know, people are condemning culture. If you hear, yeah, there's only heavenly culture. What heavenly culture? Mm. You know, Jesus. Mm. You know, what was he wearing? Mm. You see, mm. you, you, he was wearing shoes. It was those shoes heavenly shoes? Mm -hmm. You know, those dressing coat was it the heavenly uh, dressing coat? Mm -hmm. You know how we eat? Mm -hmm. You know, was it heavenly folk or whatever? No. Mm. You see, but he was also keeping the culture. 
Jesus was not wearing like an African man, mm -hmm. or not, also not as a uh, European man. Mm -hmm. He was wearing like a person from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. You know, those robes and, you know, those mm -hmm. garments, mm -hmm. like, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, but it's a college culture. Can we condemn Jesus by wearing like this? Or the apostle wearing like that? Okay. Now, why should it be a problem? Where? Mm -hmm. Me as a pastor, you know, I, I want to go very rough now. Mm -hmm. In uh, Sunday service. Yes. I'm wearing culturally, yes, yeah, and I'm preaching mm -hmm. the gospel uh, uh, in my cultural attire. Mm -hmm. Why should it be a problem? So, because when we uh, there's a great teacher of mine, Bishop Maponga J, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yes, he uh, once yes. he once said uh, said something that mm -hmm. when we when we were given bread, mm -hmm. we ate the bread mm -hmm. with the plastic. Yes, yes. We should have taken out the bread, mm -hmm. removed the plastic, mm -hmm. and eat the bread. Mm -hmm. That's what we should have done. Yes. But we took the whole concept mm -hmm. of this, of the white religion that we were mm -hmm. given. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We took it as a whole. Mm -hmm. And that has no, uh, uh, it doesn't add value to us. It doesn't. You see? It doesn't. It, I don't want to get. Too religious into in in this topic now because because that's a that's a different topic yeah, on its own. Yeah, yeah. But just on the concept of Jesus now, mm -hmm. just because you mm -hmm. uh, said something mm -hmm. about it, uh, we are following Jesus, the history and the lifestyle of Jesus mm -hmm. and so on, mm -hmm. imitating him, what he mm -hmm. did, quoting him everywhere and so on. But somehow Christians have a problem mm -hmm. with their ancestors. Mm -hmm. uh, narrating ancestral mm -hmm. stories, mm -hmm. talking about ancestors, uh, acknowledging ancestors mm -hmm. in who we are today mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. you, we, in the Christian community, we somehow don't even want to hear mm -hmm. that ancestor word. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. uh, from the basis that Jesus mm -hmm. uh, lived mm -hmm. as a human mm -hmm. being, mm -hmm. It's a very exciting question. And mm -hmm. Jesus having died, because mm -hmm. he was no longer yes, around. Yes. Does that not make him an ancestor? Okay. Uh, uh, be before I'm going to answer this, mm -hmm. do this, let me, you know, uh, um, even in the Bible, you know, that is why, you know, it's sometimes very dangerous uh -huh. that some people have to tell you the story mm -hmm. and you are not given the opportunity to verify. Uh -huh. You know, see, like mi missionaries those days, they were sent to Africa yes. and they say that, tell them, uh, teach them how to read, uh -huh. eh? but don't teach, teach them how to reason. Mm -hmm. So they, they cannot only take what they are given. They must only read. Yeah, uh -huh. They shouldn't reason. Uh, they, they must not reason. Uh -huh. Yes. So that they must do as they are told. Uh -huh. you, you see? Yeah. So those are, you know, things that deprived us mm. for us to interrogate certain issues. Mm. You know, whether it's in Christianity, we mm. are so afraid mm -hmm. to interrogate certain issues. Mm -hmm. And it's better for us now just to okay, accept. accept the yes. way it is. We cannot Even question. if we know that what that is right, somewhere something is yes. wrong. Yes. You know, yeah, that is, that's how. But now, with what I'm setting up here, mm -hmm. I w I'm, I'm creating a platform mm -hmm. for us as black communities mm -hmm. where we can like now, like the way we are doing now, can get into those uncomfortable conversations. conversations. Yes, unpopular opinions. Unpopular opinions. Yes. Yes. Now, you know, funny enough, uh, what's the word again? Well, it's very difficult. Mm. Genealogy. Okay. Is it right? Gene Jesus. Genealogy. 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 Yes. yes. Even Jesus' new genealogy, it's written in the Bible. Uh -huh. You know, it starts from uh, uh, his, even this Rahab, uh -huh. taking David. You know, funny people, you know, uh -huh. Jesus was such a holy man. But if you look back to his uh -huh. uh, 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 genealogy, uh -huh. <laughs> then you'll see that all the funny people, good people, bad people, everybody. Uh -huh. But it's in the bloodline of Jesus. Uh -huh. And the Bible never dismissed this. Mm -hmm. Why should it be a problem mm -hmm. to us? Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm listening to, you know, some uh, um, our white brothers, mm -hmm. you know, on just this, uh, then some guys are talking about, I'm a fourth generational mm -hmm. farmer. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what is fourth generational farmer? Mm -hmm. Others, we talk, they talk about family trees. Mm -hmm. You know, the time that I was born again, 
-hmm. we were strictly forbidden and say that. Put down all your parents if they are late. We will pick up on the issue. I don't want us to go too deep into okay, the religious okay, aspect. Okay. We will pick up on the concept of uh, language, okay. the significance of language mm. in culture okay. and cultural preservation. Okay, we are back ah, on this conversation you. that I'm mm. enjoying. You're right. Uh, you now, too. I should also... Uh, Admit that these conversations, mm. these conversations will go, it will keep going. Exactly. And this is basically just creating a platform mm -hmm. for more dialogue and yes. and conversations regarding this type of mm -hmm. uh, topics and things that really mm. affect our lives in uh, in multiple ways. Yeah. So now, on the issue of, ooh, okay. sorry for that, sorry for that, on the issue of the language. Mm -hmm. The significance of language exactly. in terms of our cultural heritage mm -hmm. and us understanding each other mm -hmm. in terms of our culture mm -hmm. and just uh, in our life, just yes. understanding each other. Uh, what is the significance of mm. using our mother tongue, well, Okay, if you like? You know, if you talk about culture, you cannot exclude language. Mm -hmm. Because if you exclude language, then you don't talk about the culture. Mm -hmm. But again, we were forced to communicate in the language, as we are doing right now, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to communicate in a foreign language that yes. are not ours. Okay. And another thing is also you know, in culture. Mm -hmm. You know, culture, uh, uh, language reflects mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the 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 peculiar lifestyle of certain group of people. Mm -hmm. That's where you differentiate. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of them are black, mm. but you see, but you can say that no, this one is Oshua, this mm. is Tamara. Based on it's the language. Based on the language. Mm. And then also like and then uh, we have lost lots of words. Yes. You know, because like I grew up at the farm mm -hmm. and uh, in the environment where I grew up, mm -hmm. there were certain trees, there were certain roots, there were certain other things that you can only find in that environment. Uh, I see. Now our elders were having names, names. for those particular. Ah. You see what I mean? See. Uh -huh. uh, but now, and most of us were, uh, you know, children of the farm workers. Uh -huh. If your father is fired, your parents are fired, you uh -huh. move to another place. Uh -huh. And in the, the area where you live now, uh -huh. you don't find maybe the similar trees that side. I see. You see what I mean? I see. see. And so it goes. And some of us grow up in towns, mm. you know. So that word for mm. that tree, you are alienated mm. from that life. Mm. So and there, and there is no need anymore to mm. mention that tree because you don't live anymore there. Mm. It's also not... I do mention that root because it's of no uh -huh. significance. And some of these things do not have names in other languages. Other languages. So there's, there's a lot of, there's a vacuum basically here. There's, yes. there's, there's, there's a lot of information lost in translation. Lost in translation. Mm -hmm. You know, and, then, and also now, if those information are lost, how would I communicate now? Even my children now. Mm. If I mention maybe Nandros. Mm. Mm. My own child, mm. and this know. is my language. Mm. Like say Nandros. Mm. The guy, what is it, Papa? Hey, mm. Nandros. Mm. You see what I mean? See, because why we stop, they 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 they, they lost touch mm. with their cultural roots. Mm. So now Nandros is something like this. Mm -hmm. This is Nandros. Okay. Yes. Now it's, it's like a lighter, to lighter, you know, uh -huh. to make fire, you know. Okay. And this we call it Kunu. Uh -huh. You see, but if I say to my child, mm. they don't, I mean, there's no need to use this. Mm. You switch on the electricity mm -hmm. and you go to your lights and you can start to cook, mm -hmm. you know. So now the languages, our languages don't develop because, mm. but we are always losing, losing, mm. losing. So we are losing touch with life ways. This is, mm. I believe this lights a fire. Yes. So, so by not knowing that word, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your child will not know what you are talking about. Exactly. When you and and this is actually an ancient way of uh, making fire. making fire. Mm -hmm. So there's a skill in that exactly. actually, and this skill is now lost, uh, lost to the Ex generations yes. down because of the barrier in the language exactly. and the vacuum that's, that's yes. created. 
Huh. Mm. Those are those are some, and even you know, like I met Tamara, mm. but not all the Tamaras mm. speaks the same. Mm. You know, mm. like if you find a Tamara in Tobas, mm. it's like mm. and then others now in uh, Thomas. Mm-hmm. You know, wait the mm-hmm. Namitama. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you know when the Namitama is talking, mm-hmm. really. I need the translator. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The differences in the differences, dialects. Yes, mm. yes. And even, you know, the same thing, like for a certain reptile, perhaps, huh. the na- how it is named in Thomas. Uh-huh. The same reptile is uh, is named differently, maybe in, uh-huh. you know. So this is, you know, so we are having a rich language. Absolutely. You know? how, Absolutely. How, however, you know, there, there's so much distortion ocean about mm. our languages mm. and that they make it looks like insignificant absolutely you, you no that was the project of colonialism mm. we must be derooted yes from everything that mm. was instinctively ours mm. and we must be uh, uh, brainwashed mm. to believe that our stuff are backward stuff backward stuff and it is demonic stuff yes and it will not take us anywhere, anywhere. in the future mm-hmm. that was what we were made to believe mm-hmm. which is why we now having this kind of conversations yes. that will reignite you see that mm. that that love for who, who we who are we our are. languages our exactly. cultures takes me to the next point uh, in terms of med- medicine mm-hmm. traditional medicine yes Please talk, please talk to me. Please talk to me about that. We, uh, in terms of time, we need to uh, okay. limit. I know okay. we can go the whole day, but yeah. in the interest you of know, time. Pharmacy of the black man. Hmm? Pharma. Uh, let me show you. Hmm. I want to use this word pharmacy. Mm-hmm. You see, I would say there can, there might be a uh, dispute, but all you know, we as black people, we are having a pharmacy. We are having it, mm-hmm. but our pharmacy doesn't look like this one that we find in town. Mm-hmm. Are we are having pharmacy. Mm-hmm. Why? Should, why am I saying this? You know, I've got that experience. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I have uh, this this stomach ache, yes. then the mama, what is it, my my son? No, mama, my stomach is paining. Mm-hmm. Okay, don't worry. And then I will see my mom walking this direction. Now. And when she comes back, she will come back with a root. Mm-hmm. You see. Mm-hmm. Some of them are pound, others just boiled in mm-hmm. water, and she will give you that. My son, drink it, mm-hmm. it will cure you. Mm-hmm. And definitely, mm-hmm. after I drink, the pain is gone. You Without know? having spent any money. Any money and a traditional knowledge. Mm-hmm. You see, I don't know. Because my mom couldn't write or read. Mm-hmm. She was a farm lady. Yes. You see what I mean? See? Yes. How, but where does he got that knowledge? Uh-huh. You see, and that she knows that she passed by many routes and other things and go to that specific, specific one, one for that specific disease uh-huh. or illness. Uh-huh. And that is not recognized mm-hmm. because it's not scientifically proven. Uh-huh. Why let us do our things and we verify our own on our own terms, our mm-hmm. medicine. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? Yes. And we tell them this is this. Not them telling us about our roots, Absolutely. but us has to tell them about our, yes. our roots. And if there is something that they want to measure up this, mm-hmm. the validity of this thing, mm-hmm. it is us who is going to validate, yes. not them. Absolutely. You, you see what I mean? I get you. <laughs> I get you. Now, you see, there is this... Uh, now, uh, where, where, at the time that we are now sitting, mm. a lot of people have come to the knowledge of uh, this our powerful herbs and stuff some of them are now controlled even mm-hmm. we are not uh, allowed to, to harvest or reproduce mm-hmm. the koba for example mm-hmm. uh, the hudia i mm-hmm. think it's called yes, yes. Uh, so mm-hmm. it's controlled now mm-hmm. and uh, now uh, people are coming mm-hmm. with their technology mm-hmm. and developing this mm-hmm. thing now and we need to buy it back mm-hmm. as a tablet mm-hmm. or as a powder mm-hmm. you see so now the next question comes now this this is this is our cultural stuff it's where in the value chain mm-hmm. do we feature mm. that's the next thing in the economics of these uh, plants and uh, roots and herbs mm-hmm. and uh, our, our stuff that we know as our medicine now being be getting controlled and now getting commercialized mm-hmm. and uh, but now these things are ours instinct they are ours mm-hmm. where are we in the value chain that is you know, another area that we must we, look into. 
we as you know what was independent for and even the word if you look to independent mm. what does it uh, refer to mm. you see dependency is about what others can provide to you Mm-hmm. The information others can provide to you, the guidance. But now, as I'm an independent person, mm-hmm. you know, before Europeans were, mm-hmm. I was here already, and I used this stuff. Yes. You know, yes, because we didn't trade with our roots and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. You know, but now that we are, we are, we are learned now, mm-hmm. we we know now how the business are operating now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see, but now the funny thing is. Every time where we discover something or, 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 or where we as black people want to do something for ourselves, mm-hmm. always you will see that if the law that was not are going to apply it. And these laws are not there to help us. But those laws are made to exclude us. So, you see what I mean? Because like they want maybe a scientific proof of cover. Mm-hmm. My brother, where do I have? There is ways that lapse mm-hmm. where I'm going to go and do those things. Yes. You see, but there are those who's got the means. Yes. You see what I mean? See, mm-hmm. so these laws are in the favor of those who's got the means. Absolutely, because it's colonial laws. Mm-hmm. Coming back to your now, you say that where do we feature into this what? value chain? Value chain. Mm-hmm. You see, this is how we are excluded. Absolutely. Well, that's where we are excluded. Mm-hmm. So the laws must be made. To benefit us as blacks, yes, you see what I mean, and to empower us, yes. But these laws are disempowering us. Absolutely, and on the issue of the laws, mm. that's a different topic again, mm-hmm. because uh, I will have a conversation mm. uh, with uh, a couple of people, mm. some of my learned friends, mm. and others uh, from uh, not so learned background, but mm-hmm. Very intellectual mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. regarding all the systems that mm-hmm. we live by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need, I believe, we are at a time mm-hmm. that we need to revisit mm-hmm. and look at, unpack, mm-hmm. and uh, really look into mm-hmm. all the systems that govern mm-hmm. us. Our legal system, for mm-hmm. example, yes. now that you talk about laws, do those laws serve us My today brother. when they were put together in the colonial times to oppress black people and we are using the same laws? to uh, punish each other uh, mm, for yes, yes. Of any contravention. It, the name Roman Dutch law, mm-hmm. name said it all. <laughs> what does Roman Dutch law has to do with us? Yes. You see, that, that's the irony. Sometimes we are saying that we are making our laws, mm-hmm. but we only copy that we don't make laws. Mm-hmm. You know, my suggestion, if we can come up with appropriate laws mm-hmm. in, in, in this country, mm-hmm. what we're going to do is, like, we were having kingdoms, we were having our way of governing ourselves. We go back there. Mm-hmm. We see that, Oshuambos, if you want, uh, if your son is pregnating, maybe, and uh, this girl for other, you know, how do you handle that thing? Say, so, no, there is something that you have to pay for this and this and this reason. Mm-hmm. We go back again to the Damaras. In case of this situation, mm-hmm. how do you culturally handle this? Mm-hmm. This is the way that we are using. Mm-hmm. And then to the heroes and all and all. You see mm-hmm. what I mean? Because there is system. We are having no. governance systems. There were systems. And but, you see, then we see that because here, we are this country, we are the Tamaras, we are the Hereros, we are the Bambos, we are the Kavangos. It is our land. That's what we are saying. Yes. Now, us, the narrative of the laws must come from us. Yes. You see what I mean? See? Absolutely. And yes. And it is conversations like this mm-hmm. that will build up momentum yes. Yes. and which will later mm-hmm. influence policy. Policies. You see. Like, like, I just want to mention something like this uh, gender based violence and mm-hmm. those things. You know, in our culture, Tamaras. You know, there is what, uh, what I called like the soul quest, okay. maybe soul quest. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. your soul quest there is somebody that you don't even greet her with her, this hand. Yes. yes. Why? We are working with this hand as mm-hmm. men, mm-hmm. so this hand we regard it as daddy. Uh, okay. And this is a pure person. Mm-hmm. You see, so you don't want to defy, contaminate, her, mm-hmm. her, contaminate her. Mm-hmm. You see, this is. How we used to see there was deep meaning deep, in deep that. meaning uh-huh. how we regard a woman. You know, you mm-hmm. see what I mean. See, and then 
if you really wants to touch it and you take mm. a stick this walking stick mm. and you, you stretch it out mm. and you can you see what i mean ah. so you see this kind of respect you are touching on a very important mm. concept when you mm. talk about respect yes. in terms of our culture and and that, that one in and also value women how we value women absolutely you know uh, there is some narrative that says that so you are saying if we go back sorry to cut mm-hmm. you if we go back to our cultures yes. there will be more respect for humanity yes. there will be more respect for women exactly uh-huh. exactly if we tell ultimately more love story, mm-hmm. you see what i mean not this distorted Better. westernized uh, uh, kind of narrative mm-hmm. where they want to come and tell us that this is the way that you're gonna treat we you black people you don't know how to treat women and so on so forth mm. no we are having they were we were governed by moral laws of absolutely we civilized the yeah. world mm, ex- if we should go back there ex- actually exactly you know if you consider a woman so juicy like that you don't even want to touch her yes You see what I mean? Yes. Just look at the what kind of value do you put on in on this woman? No, absolutely. You see? And if you really want to touch it then you are sticking out your hair. Yo 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 yo. Absolutely. Well, you see? Absolutely. Where are you going to get this in the uh, European European mm. system? You know? Mm. You see? Mm. So mm. we must rectify this the uh, distortion. I get you. Yes. I get you. I get yes. you. I get you. And making laws that I understand. Can I say something mm-hmm. before you continue? You know that is like for instance uh, there was theft committed right okay i steal your cow mm. you go and report to the police mm. i was arrested mm. i go to court and i was convicted for say for instance like 2 years jail term mm. or fine maybe for 5000 mm. so let's say okay and i decided no let me pay fine because i want to, i don't want to sit in jail mm. to whom does this 5000 goes to <laughs> yeah. you see what i mean yes what what do you gain mm. you lose your cow yes you see and, and that the man to be convicted and sit in jail will never return your cow absolutely so you are one cow poorer uh-huh. but not if this justice to you uh-huh. if this just so, but in our local systems uh-huh. you see what i mean uh-huh. like even now it is all still practiced in the northern parts and so on. okay if you steal a cow mm-hmm. what they will do is there is a traditional court mm-hmm. when you are found guilty they will say that now okay you are fined maybe three cows mm-hmm. for that one cow mm-hmm. one maybe to the traditional mm-hmm. uh, authority court, authority mm-hmm. and to to you mm-hmm. was lost i think there is so you the, the person that lost gets compensated exactly so in the current system the government gets con- uh, yes. compensated what for my loss ca- yes mm-hmm. so these are these are uh, all the kinds of things mm. that we need to in mm. our generation we need to really interrogate. begin to question mm. things mm. we need to mm. interrogate things mm. and the, especially the the systems, systems that govern gov- that governs us we need to look into those things okay that then uh, and some some more after the break uh, as we are diving into this conversation and i'm enjoying my time here with uh, my beloved pastor here a mm-hmm. uh, very wise man a great a great man uh, from which i learn a lot uh, so after the break we continue okay pastor mm. on the topic of white weddings mm-hmm. and culture mm-hmm. are this the way we conduct our weddings mm-hmm. Is that part of our culture? The white dress, the expensive stuff, the uh, the more expensive uh, it is, the better it is. It's 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 even regarded a competition now. Well, the biggest wedding uh, and it's about money. Yes. Uh, how we do our weddings mm. and our culture? Talk to me. One on should that. ask yourself the question. What is a wedding? Mm-hmm. What are the significance of wedding? Mm-hmm. So that we can identify that what are things that makes wedding to be wedding. Mm-hmm. But again, again, mm. from whose perspective? You see, are you looking at mm. under which narrative mm. are you building your conversation? Mm. You know. Okay there is a Christian wedding mm. 
some uh, okay, there is also Muslim wedding. There is a Hindu wedding. There are traditional wedding. Which wedding are really a wedding? Yeah. You see? So yes. those are the questions that one has to ask ourselves. Mm -hmm. And also once you are clear with, if we say Christian wedding, mm -hmm. then we know, that, okay, Christian, those who tell, who give us Christianity, tell mm -hmm. us that how to dress. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? How to <laughs> carry ourselves. Mm -hmm. Even the arrangements, you know, mm -hmm. the setups mm -hmm. must go along that narrative. Yes. You see, and then it's approved. Mm. You see what I mean? You see, but is mm. it the only one? So the white wedding concept mm. is also mm. Christian based. It, it it is Christian based. Mm. You know, so and that, and yes, that's, and yes. That's why we... And I, I've got no problem against it. Mm -hmm. But you know, when God looked from heaven, mm. you know, mm. I am traditionally married. Mm. You see, and and. and other one is is a white waiting mm. from the European mm. direction. Mm. Well, God says that no, you are not married, mm. so I don't approve yours. Mm. But this is based on what? Mm. Wedding is where two people have decided. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. I take you as my man, yes. you take me as your husband, yes. we live together. Yes. That That's one, the marriage. No matter what happened afterwards, uh -huh. That's but a there's celebration. a vow. There's a vow. Uh -huh. you, know, you know that you have taken, uh -huh. you see. Uh, now that vow, mm -hmm. you know, mm. before God is acceptable if it's a traditional vow. Mm -hmm. You see, because with the traditional laws and morals, mm -hmm. you know, even if you go to morality, who is determining morality? Mm -hmm. you, 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 you see? Mm -hmm. So, there is, you know, even in the white people uh, community, yes. even now the weddings are done, yes. you go to Russia mm -hmm. and then you go to uh, one of the European countries. Yes. And so it's also different. You know, they all are not the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, thus, this means that if your uh, wedding was conducted mm, in the European, in a culture, okay. uh, European culture, mm. the Russia, mm -hmm. Russian way, mm -hmm. even the, the way they dance is mm. different from for, perhaps how the Germans are dancing. And the Chinese. And now, when God look at it now, mm. when he goes to say that, no, this is the correct one, and this mm. is the wrong one, mm. why should it always be us? What we are doing what should be the wrong one. Mm. You see? Why should we be the ones that copy the other? Exactly. Uh, way you, of doing you see, that. when are others going to copy from us? Oh. We are only the ones that are copying. So. so, you know, like white is right and black is wrong. Oh. You see what I mean? So, but there, these are, ah, you know, God has created us. If people say that God has created us all, mm. which, which means that our origin is with God, mm -hmm. and God has determined that you are like this and you are like this, mm -hmm. nobody is going to come and enforce their ideologies mm -hmm. upon others. Mm -hmm. Let God judge. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Who is right and who is wrong. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of distortion. You know, I attended, you know, because I want to interrogate these issues, mm. I attended the hero waiting. The error waiting totally different from that of Damaras. Mm. It's certain, you know, you see. Mm. Uh, uh, Damaras, lots of dancing, lots of festivities, so. Mm. But that, that the wedding that I uh, attended, mm. Saturday is just like a normal, normal day. Mm. Mm. You sit no under church the tree. ceremony? No, no. You sit under your tree with your people when you come with others, are just, it's just like this. Mm. Normal. I, I asked my brother now. When the wedding started, that this is how we do the things, mm. you know. I even recorded it, you know, mm. because so she was so interested, mm. you know. But after that wedding, where am I going to say that? No, this wedding was like that. Ah, it's mm. a hero wedding. Yeah, absolutely. I I cannot validate hero wedding absolutely. with my Damara wedding. Absolutely. I have to respect. You how have the to respect are it. Doing it. Yes. You see, that is what they are doing. Yes. And that is what they conceive uh, uh, conceive mm. mm. it's, 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 it's as wedding absolutely perceive as wedding absolutely you, you, you see what i mean see mm. now but if you go to the north now Oshiwambo wedding mm. full of life mm. it's very lively mm. very joyous organism mm. but that is what they are yes so i don't have to compare mm. these tribes waiting mm. From my tribe, I say that those are wrong. Yeah. So uh, what you're basically saying is that there should be more tolerance in terms of accepting their perspective exactly. as well and building on our perspective. Exactly. And uh, see our, our stuff that mm. we do 
equal to mm -hmm. that which anybody mm -hmm. else does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we shouldn't uh, feel inferior in the way mm -hmm. we conduct mm -hmm. our stuff, mm -hmm. be it wedding, mm -hmm. be it funeral, whatever. Mm -hmm. But we should build on it build on and, it. and, and not try and to copy. And another thing is also now, in the, in, in, in the earlier days, mm -hmm. you will see that uh, if you are a Damara, mm -hmm. most probably you will get married to a Damara. Mm -hmm. Things has changed. Mm -hmm. There is an intermarriage. Yes, yes, yes. And that is why it's very important that for us to learn each other so the way we conduct mm. the weddings, you know, mm. or the way you conduct weddings. Mm. I've seen that Tamara and Herodo, mm. Bambu, mm. they are also, you know, it's a little bit of differences, mm. but most of the things are, you know, it's interlinked. Yeah. It's interlinked. Mm. You know, the, uh, like us, we bring crepe, mm. you know, mm. but that crepe also, the I saw one. it, yes, I saw it also in the Oshuamos, mm. you know, they okay. can call it different things, but, you know, put things in that, yeah. and what, 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 yeah. and maybe the stuff that we put in, mm. the tamaras, mm. maybe they all, there is a variation, maybe others will put other things mm. in that. But things are in, they are tied up in a, you know, <laughs> and it's given and presented. I see. So, yeah, now, that and it's very very important you know we need to start these conversations because the children that we are giving birth to although you tell him that and say what about the bamboo throw by hero throw this jewish generation don't care about those things they will tell you that i love that person now if you don't know if you are so ignorant about other people's uh the way they contract weddings that day now you are the father how what role are you going to play so it's important for us to come out of the comfort zone. Be you. interested to each other. I you see you. what I mean? I yes. You. And I then try to learn at least the basics. Mm. When your son comes and says that, no, I saw a Kabongo lady that I want to get married to. Mm. At least you got the basic knowledge of what is expected. Okay. And then you're going to conduct yourself in a certain way that are acceptable to you okay. in laws. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pastor, uh, as we are now wrapping up, uh, just to touch uh, back on the culture and our health aspect, mm. Né? Mm. culture and our health aspect. Mm. Um, we, in a, in a community setting mm. back then, mm -hmm. we had a specific woman that mm. does the smearing of the mm. of mm. pregnant mm. woman. Mm. If you have uh, maybe a broken bone or something, mm. Then there was a, someone mm -hmm. else mm -hmm. that had the skill mm -hmm. or the mm -hmm. know-how mm -hmm. in terms of treating it mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. uh, like that and so on. Th th now that we have now all these modern technologies mm -hmm. and institutions mm -hmm. and, and services out mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. um, what can we do mm -hmm. not to lose touch exactly. of uh, uh, our mm -hmm. systems that were in place, place. before yes. we had the luxury of mm -hmm. the white rooms mm -hmm. with the doctors now there and so on. Uh, that, that, that's one mm. and then uh, uh, in terms of uh, the cultural identity that is mm. sometimes misunderstood mm. uh, as, 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 as being mm. wrong and mm. too African mm. and uh, in a way could be mis mm. and, uh, misinterpreted mm. as witchcraft and so mm. on. What can we do to enlighten ourselves on mm. these issues and not to lose touch? Yes, very good question. Mm. You know, uh, um, then again, 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 you know, a distorted information can be very dangerous. You know, I I know women here in Swa Kukund, who is in my language we say Kuri massage. They even call up to this uh, to the the hospital. Oh. Yes. Okay. And they are allowed to curry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even pregnant, even pregnant woman. white woman okay. are even coming to them here mm. to be curry. I know two ladies that are doing it. Mm -hmm. And the people are recovering from the hospital. But they got help from these ladies. I see. You no. know? But now the funny thing is this. Mm. You know, if you say these are ladies that are kuri. Mm. Kuri word, uh, mm. word has got no economic 
value. So mm. that lady will just be given a hundred dollar or two hundred dollar. Mm. You know, it's cool and yeah. it's a traditional. But knowledge. if you go to the fish show, you will pay up I, to five hundred. No, that is what I want to say. That is exactly what I want to say. Uh, now, fish show therapy. You know, it ah, sounds so, so heavenly big and so so. You <laughs> see what I mean? Huh? Yes. And the, the value attached to it is because, but it's the same thing. Yes. You you see you yes. see what I mean? Yes. Yeah? Even yes. when my mother, you know, got that uh, sick and uh, she she has to go to do the do doctor here, yeah? physiotherapy. Mm. There's lots of lots of stuff and whatever whatever. Mm. But she got. I mean, she never recovered. Mm. But the money that was paid, mm -hmm. you see. But these ladies, you know, mm. if we can. Make the government recognize mm. the traditional knowledge and traditional skills systems, mm. and also put the economic value because people are healed. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So end of the day. Now that will come mm. from our promotion, and mm -hmm. from uh, how much we make use of that which is ours, mm -hmm. and how much we bring it to the mainstream. Mm -hmm. That will. Uh, create the interest that, exactly. that, that is now lacking mm -hmm. and the knowledge mm -hmm. that is now lacking mm -hmm. and that will take us to the point mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. those services will mm -hmm. receive the same uh, uh, acknowledgement yeah, exactly. and, uh, and the same value exactly uh, uh, before i forget even in the system the health system why are these women not registered like a physiotherapy from the western side yes. you see and also be accommodated at the hospitals mm -hmm. like a physiotherapy yes. you know having their own room they must have their own room perhaps employed by the ministry yes you know yes and then they do their job like you know, others are doing it. it does not even have to go through the government channels mm. we can set up an institution mm -hmm. and set up a facility mm -hmm where these practices mm -hmm. are done mm -hmm. you see and mm -hmm. where we go to mm -hmm. uh, and then later we can uh, get the medical aid boards and mm -hmm. whoever yes. to recognize, recognize this yes. and then pay for it pay just for as they it. would pay exactly. for the for the fish exactly. so but we the, the beginning mm -hmm. needs to be from us yes. we need to realize mm -hmm. what we have that's mm -hmm. why i be, i started mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. your culture is your currency exactly it's your identity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's your economics, mm -hmm. so it's it, it's a deep conversation, exactly. but uh, which we will not exa yeah. exhaust or do justice <laughs> to in one sitting. Yes, so on that course. note, Pastor, mm. let me please give you just one minute for mm. a concluding mm. uh, comment, and then we mm. wrap it up, please. Okay. Don't be ashamed mm. about your culture. Your culture defines who you are, mm. your existence. Mm. Yes, you are not the reject mm. if you are cultural. Also, mm. but you it is real you you are genuine mm. if you don't practice your culture mm. you are not genuine mm. if you say you are genuine based on what mm. you are a copy of others don't copy thank, thank you. you thank you pastor <laughs> well 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 on that note thank you so much mm. for having uh viewed this episode mm. and we mm. i want to say a special thanks to pastor for mm -hmm. the, for really taking the time to be with me today. Mm -hmm. uh, I know and I acknowledge that one mm -hmm. sitting will not do justice to this yes. uh, wide topic, mm -hmm. but this is the beginning mm -hmm. and we will have a lot more of these sessions mm -hmm. and until we start to influence policy mm -hmm. decisions and policy mm -hmm. makers and, mm -hmm. and institutions out there and so on, mm -hmm. and until we get institutions mm -hmm. uh, recognize our cultural diversity, mm. cultural exactly. beauty, cultural mm. uh, knowledge systems, cultural indigenous cultural knowledge systems, and cultural food. And uh, mm. we haven't even spoken about cultural attires. Mm -hmm. So on, on this setting, but mm. we will continue with these conversations. Exactly. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for your time once again, Basta. Mm -hmm. And thank you for everybody for having mm. uh, taken the time to view mm. this. Thank you. Mm -hmm.